actress Elizabeth McGovern is most recently best known as Cora Crawley, the Countess of Downton, from the popular PBS series Downton Abbey. But this month, she returns to the big screen with a new film from PBS Masterpiece. We get an inside look now as part of Canvas, a recurring arts and culture series. Louise has recently been accepted to study dance in New York. She can't go without a chaperone. We haven't been able to find anyone. I'd like to propose myself. The film tells the real-life drama of one of America's first big-screen bombshells. To be escorting a professional coochie coochie girl. It's the story of a young Louise Brooks who traveled from her town in Kansas when she was 15 to study dancing in New York. At the time she's she was train, traveling, she was accompanied by a middle-aged housewife as a chaperone. Actor Elizabeth McGovern plays the chaperone Norma. Louise Lulu Brooks, a flapper icon who popularized the bob hairstyle, starred in several silent and early talkie movies and inspired Liza Minnelli in her famous role in Cabaret. I was uh, instantly attracted to it because I love things about change. Julian Fellows, author of the Downton Abbey series, wrote the movie screenplay. This was a drama really about a child of the new age helping uh, a middle-aged housewife who'd grown up at the end of Victorian values find herself. Didn't be here without asking me. A teenager and her minder both hmm. unleashed in New York. How's it going? We watch her discovering a, a kind of ownership of her own sexuality by brushing up against this highly sexually charged figure, Louise Brooks. And we see that manifest in her own life. So she's the sort of the ordinary person's story who's imbibing the, the message of the icon. And it's a wonderful, positive story. Norma uncovers details about her own early life. I've come a long way from Kansas to find my records. Born in New York, placed in an orphanage as a toddler, and sent on a train to Wichita to be adopted. Louise becomes the star pupil and an accomplished dancer. These two women at completely different stages of their lives, uh, helping each other and having a mutual effect so that by the end of their sojourn in New York, they're different people. I'm afraid I can't help you with that. I want to know who I am. Unlike most masterpiece projects, The Chaperone is now in theaters. Rebecca Eaton is the executive producer. Both Norma and Louise had been um, I don't want to use the word abused too broadly, but they had been through the fire. And as they come together, they um, give each other strength. They give each other the nerve, first of all, to tell the truth about what's happened to them, and then to kind of go the next step to recover. She um, takes ownership of her own sexuality, and she realizes that she has a right to have a sex life, basically. I mean, I think that's something that American women don't necessarily assume they do. There's a kind of a puritanical, I think, heritage that, that we all have in our DNA that, that um, we don't really have or the right to a sexual appetite. And this is Norma's discovery that this is the key to her happiness and sense of self. McGovern also produced the film, creating a happy reunion. Well, I love writing for Elizabeth because she has this Curious vulnerability combined with great strength. They seem like opposite qualities, but she has them both. She has a certain delicacy, uh, and you feel she could be defeated and ground down by things, but she, at the same time, has an inner reserve of strength that fights back. Give my regards to Lucy. At the How beginning, a people pleaser. Well. She's trying not to make That's trouble. To She's trying <laughs> to, to make things <laughs> work. Simultaneously, you realize here is a woman capable of fighting back. Part of that fight is over her wardrobe and the corset that women wore. Not so. Better not. Of course, it's tight enough as it is. Why do you wear one? I don't. Well, when you're older. No, I won't. Did you actually have to wear a corset? I did. <laughs> I did. I wore oh. all the way through. I felt that it was a good illustration of what Norma was putting herself through every day. She'd come from this not exactly unhappy background, and she felt she had to keep going with it in order to keep the show on the road. 
And in a way, that became the corset that she was putting herself into every day of her life. In the last scene, Louise's character asks Norma, did you ever put your corset on again? And Norma replies, no, I never did. And um, I'm kind of hoping, as Elizabeth McGovern, after this movie, I can reply the same way, that I <laughs> never put <laughs> never my corset on again. <laughs> You've been so kind to me. The Chaperone opens nationwide today. today.